starting the next briefing and we'll be talking about presentation of the musical literature festival uh, Road to the East. Our presenters are Sergei Zadan, Angelika Rodnitska, Ivan Landio, and Mitro Lazutkin. Dear friends, the floor is yours. Good afternoon, dear friends. So we would like today to tell you about our festival, which we uh, will have on the 25th, 26th, and 27th of March. The festival is called The Way to the East. It's the artistic festival. There will be music and literature there. There will be volunteer component there. We're going to Lugansk region and we are will be traveling. Every day we'll be in a different place. We start on the 25th in Novomoskovsk, on the 26th Svatova, on the 27th in my motherland, Starobilsk. We got together the team of musicians and writers from Kharkiv and Kiev, and it was very important to invite local activists, volunteers, and uh, musicians. So local musicians uh, will be playing with us from Severodonetsk, Svatov, and Starobilsk. It is very important for us because we regularly travel to this so-called ATO zone, but that's, uh, in fact, is the Ukrainian East, the Lugansk and Donetsk regions with uh, performances, with volunteer assistance. When you go there, you see good, talented, open people who do something, who want to uh, get involved into such uh, actions. And we believe it's uh, right to do so, not just to perform there, but to listen to other people who have their position, who perform, especially when our positions uh, are similar. That's not our first trip there, and I suspect not the last one, this festival is more concentrated because many people uh, we will there will be more than 30 of us and i hope that in these places this will be the real event and we would like uh, us uh, in uh, here in the rear in ukraine which is far away from the front line so that people know that there are many people there who are waiting for some support for solidarity from their co-patriots before I give the floor to my colleagues, to my friends, I would like to say a few general uh, words. Basically, I can tell who will participate. You mentioned Kazakh systems, they will go. Angelika Rudnitska, uh, besides myself and Mitro Lazutsky, Lazutsky, there will be Artem Polizhak, a poet. There will be Kharkiv groups, uh, Sabak, uh, Dogs in uh, the Space, Papa Karla Orchestra, uh, Boris Sevastiana from Kharkiv who travels to ATO Zone, Urbanistan group and local groups. The group from Svatova is a Barator, group from Starobilsk, Flying Swan, and uh, the group from Severodonetsk, uh, which is called Two Buses. So this is the list of participants. Also, I would like to say that we are supported by some organizations. We received financial support from Refazian Bank Kaval, and we would like to thank them for that. Uh, our co-organizers are uh, Last, Last Barricade, uh, Territory A, a smaller skip publishing house and charity foundation USID and also uh, Meridian uh, publishing house supported us with books and in Kharkiv Oblast state uh, uh, administration and the little nation also we thank all of them because all of them have made uh, uh, their contribution into this uh, common uh, very good uh, thing Thank you. I am happy that this uh, spring we continue the traditions uh, of the last uh, spring. We went with the festival which was called Ukrainian Spring last year, and now we'll be, read we'll be reciting poems, singing songs uh, during all these travels uh, to the east. I'm convinced that 
poetry is needed because the Ukrainian military thank us and they are happy that there is a chance to hear the songs and to hear the poetry just like local residents uh, Starobilsk for example before the war I've never been to Starobilsk and now I regularly go there to um, the uh, homeland of Sergei Zadan and besides uh, uh, meeting uh, local people we uh, what we understand uh, uh, as Ukrainian rear but uh, there are many pro-Ukrainian people down there many people who want to Communi to communicate, they want to be heard, and that's a very good positive dialogue. It's great that there will be music and poetry there. It's good that we will bring books there. It's important that the publishing house has joined us, uh, with which I cooperate, because my books were published by Small Escape and Media, and they are also with us, just like the a famous accordion player Ivan Lenua is with us, and I believe we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do it well, because usually these performances gather many people, and people go there, the people are interested, sincerely interested. We need to travel there, we need to spend a lot of, uh, we need to devote our time and energy um, and, and go there. Now, Angelika Rudninska, I give the floor to Angelika, not to Ivan, because Ivan was late. And greetings. In fact, when last time we were in Svatava, I was impressed uh, talking to a girl who was making coffee for us uh, in the cafe and the shop. Uh, she said that when I first time was planning to go to Kiev, I was very much afraid because in Kiev everyone speaks Russian. And they say, and so what? Did you go to Kiev and so what? She says, well, they speak um, the way they can speak. I call our country the country of the people who were not loved enough and that is why we are unhappy and because we are uh, somewhat unhappy, uh, our country is unhappy because we lack communication, we lack uh, uh, trust to each other, we lack uh, the uh, possibility to think uh, in more general terms, not about what, how people speak in Svatova or in Kiev, and then it trips to the east or to the west, and I've been doing that for more than 20 years, forced me to repeat same things all the time, to tell people that we are similar, that uh, all the splits were invented by politicians, and they just do according to the Bible, split and rule, uh, separate and rule, and uh, we are trying not just to uh, reach uh, the mm, brain of everyone, but we are trying to reach the hearts and souls of people. And I believe uh, that is um, important. And these people are not the supporters of uh, some world. They are just... Uh, sort of hanging in uh, uh, the situation where they do not know what to do. The country doesn't offer them some uh, roads. They say, uh, find that yourselves and our people, new generation. They're not used to uh, pave the road uh, themselves. Our way to the east is not this well paved the road, but that is uh, a little trail that we have uh, made. And the more efforts we put, and the more such communication trails will become stronger. 
and it will be easier for us to find common language with the people from any region of Ukraine. That's why I go to this festival. Besides traditionally, we visit military units. Uh, today uh, we got the uh, confirmation that uh, they are looking forward to seeing us there for our military guys, for our servicemen, that's always a festival, and for us it's a festival. My mission is also uh, to hug all our servicemen, uh, kiss all our servicemen, and I'm doing it on behalf of all our Ukrainian girls. Uh, and that is also part of our festival, because we have to compensate this lack of love. Thank you for your attention and pave this uh, trail together with us. That's important. Good afternoon. <laughs> with whom do we communicate today? Mm, I'm asking the question because I had uh, uh, so monotonous presentations where this uh, presentation will go. There will be just two phrases. This is direct online. Uh, this is online streaming. The streaming. Mm, I personally and uh, my mm, mm, guys from Cossack system now uh, have a huge respect to one person who really understands how to love uh, the motherland. Uh, here I mean Sergei Jadan. He was uh, much less lucky than me because uh, near his uh, native town uh, there are um, the troops of the uh, neighboring country and uh, it is very painful situation uh, for him and uh, he tries uh, to uh, create uh, some future for his native town, and uh, he makes everything possible to make Donbass Ukrainian. Of course, everybody understands that Donbass is Ukrainian, but uh, uh, we should uh, uh, ensure this. Um, when I try to imagine that separatists uh, could uh, stay close, uh, um, I also would feel this pain which Sergei feels. That's why we felt ourselves that we should take some action. That's why we took our musical instruments and now we go to Starobilsk, to Svatova. We wish to bring their part of Ukrainian worms and uh, to share this uh, worm approach with uh, these um, people. Uh, recently, we initiated a petition to the president of Ukraine. This is petition to prohibit uh, uh, bringing into Ukraine intellectual products uh, produced by our Mm, aggressive neighbors, and uh, uh, we should not disseminate this intellectual products in the territory of Ukraine. From many people, I heard that, uh, please, uh, let us not put a ban. Let us uh, produce our uh, own intellectual products. Uh, my uh, answer to such people is that if you wish to clean up your lake, you should first close the poisonous uh, uh, source of water coming to this uh, um, lake and then, of course, find the clear uh, so, uh, water sources supplying water to this uh, lake. That is what uh, uh, Serhii Metro and uh, some other my friends are doing. Thank you. 
I would like to add to what my friends mentioned. I fully agree with Angelica, uh, what she said about the road to the east. On the one hand, of course, this is a festival. And uh, to uh, some extent, this is uh, um, a metaphor that uh, there are eastern regions in the country and we should not reject from them. On the other hand, uh, the, the road uh, from Kharkiv to Starobilsk um, uh, to the east uh, uh, very uh, 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 clearly um, demonstrates our way to the East uh, in metaphorical way. When you look at this terrible road full of pits, full of um, uh, damaged uh, pavement, um, you immediately uh, uh, got an imagination of this uh, uh, difficult uh, way towards each other between two sides of people. In Starobilsk, I have my very close friend. She is a refugee from uh, uh, Luhansk. And uh, each time when I travel to Starobilsk, it's uh, um, a good occasion to express my solidarity and support to her. She is very proactive, um, pro-Ukrainian uh, journalist, and uh, I'm uh, uh, via my friend. I'm very much familiar with the problems of ordinary uh, IDPs. By the way, what you mentioned about the way to the east, about that very road, recently the Ministry of Transportation um, announced uh, they are, um, uh, that they are they are starting uh, overhaul of uh, the main highways in Ukraine. So we will see who will manage to build up the um, road quicker, either you or the Ministry of uh, Transport. I suggest to, to have the Ukrainian Spring Festival next year in uh, Jankoy or Simferopol. Sergei Ivanovich, uh, Foundation of the Heavenly Hundred, uh, memory. Sergei, taking account of all your experience, I would like to ask uh, whether you expect to have a full, uh, uh, full box uh, um, during your concerts. Uh, uh, from my own experience, I do know that the, the, that you need uh, rather mm, uh, intensive advertising campaign to bring people to the con concert. And now to Ivan, uh, I like your initiative about limiting Russian uh, musical product, uh, presence of Russian musical product in Ukraine. Do you believe that uh, uh, an appeal to the restaurant um, owners about uh, uh, limitation of Russian musical products in their restaurants uh, uh, could be um, uh, productive or uh, any uh, camp public campaign to boycott the restaurants where only Russian music is uh, uh, heard, uh, might it be efficient? And I believe that we should not just uh, bring music uh, and uh, poetry to the East, but we should um, also promote our theatrical and uh, uh, movie um, festivals. And thank you, Angelica. You are very much uh, um, uh, needed in Donbass. By the uh, by mid-19th century, Kyiv uh, was a Polish city, so 
Donbass has quite uh, uh, a lot of time to become Ukrainian. Uh, 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 to your first question. Uh, for me, it's not important how many people attend the concerts. Uh, even when 10 people come, I'm happy. Although from my experience, I know that uh, there are enough uh, people to fill the box. Uh, uh, during last visit uh, um, a month ago in Svatova, there were around 300 people. In Starabiris, there were 500 people in the room, and some more stayed out of the room because there were no space in the room. A week ago, we had a press conference about uh, our new book, um, uh, and uh, uh, I uh, just thought about the process happening now in uh, 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 the in Donbass. Uh, in the past, people were more eager to come to pro-Ukrainian political action. Well, now we have sufficient number of uh, audience during pro-Ukrainian artistic uh, performance, uh, and uh, that's very good that we have been developing this. Uh, um, uh, the audience of uh, those who are interested in Ukrainian culture. And by the way, there are a lot of talented people. These are the same people as we are, and uh, maybe they have less opportunities to present this their talents to us. And here the issue is to maintain sufficient communication and good mental, um, uh, intellectual uh, uh, contacts. As for the prohibition of Russian uh, chanson in uh, uh, restaurants, uh, I believe that uh, any um, action uh, could bring some results if uh, conscientious Ukrainians uh, mm, do not wish to support Russian chanson and uh, the restaurants which uh, um, uh, reproduce it uh, uh, and do not wish to um, uh, spend money in such uh, places, they actually will demonstrate their own opinion. Of course, you can not uh, um, leave each minibus or each restaurant with uh, such uh, uh, chanson. And uh, in order to uh, bring us to some result, we should have the state policy in place. By the way, uh, as of Today, we uh, have engaged uh, three ministers and uh, mm, uh, some number of MPs uh, who believe that this law might be useful. And even after passage of this law, some positive result uh, could be gained only in five years. Of course, we understand that this uh, um, strangers' culture uh, won't uh, um, disappear from our radio stations immediately and from public institutions immediately. Thank you very much, uh, um, and uh, we wish you all possible successes.